The idea of the concert is that it follows Wolfgang and his father traveling around Europe making a living. The concert is a journey. It's a, it's a, a physical journey going through to different places, but it's also a journey through his life because it starts with him as an eight-year-old and we finish with him um, as a, a 31-year-old playing um, or composing the, the musical joke. So you do get a real sense of progression. My name's Ian. Um, I'm a fourth year undergrad violinist at Trinity Laban. Um, formed in the, with the String Ensemble, the Symphony Orchestra, um, the Symphonia in my uh, first and second years, which is, um, which is really, really good to get those basic skills before going on to do other things. Um, yeah, the experiences that Trinity Laban have, have given me so far have been absolutely priceless in terms of some of the places I've, I've performed, like performing at uh, various venues in the South Bank Centre, like the Queen Elizabeth Hall and the Royal Festival Hall as part of the Surrogate Cities project last year. These are really, really great students. They've worked really, really hard. We've talked so, so much about phrasing, about coming away off phrases, about articulation, about breathing together. I've got all the string players breathing together, literally breathing together at the same time. Um, and I think, you know, it is really starting to sound absolutely superb. And I'm really, really excited about um, Monday. I think it's going to be an absolutely fantastic concert. It's nice to sort of have worked with these people before and then to, um, to sort of put it all together and you've got something that you really feel is going to be successful after that. Yeah. To be in this space and to experience it as a performer is really special and that was probably my overriding sort of feeling from the rehearsal today was that difference, it's kind of changing gear really. Um, it's a lovely space, yeah, amazing acoustic actually, you can really tell. It's like, you know, you can really feel, yeah, this is built for this. Excited when we heard that Edward Fox was going to be narrating this. I've always loved his work. Um, I remember as a kid really loving uh, The Day of the Jackal. It was one of my favourite films for a long time. So I'm really, really looking forward to working with him. First of all, the whole theatre was so crammed full that many people had to be turned away. Then, after each aria, there was a tumultuous storm of applause and shouts of Viva Maestro! Of course, one of the greatest pieces we're playing in this programme is Mozart's 12th piano concerto. And we're really privileged to be playing with Tao Lantan, who's one of um, our postgraduate students here. Um, we actually held a competition for this. Uh, we heard, I think it was 12 pianists played for us. And we were in no doubt that she was such a fantastic artist. I mean, her, her musicianship is absolutely beautiful. I mean, so you get this just beautiful sense of just the music just unfolding rather than making it happen. Because I enjoyed it enormously, enormously. And I really so admiring of the orchestra and the playing because they're individually very skillful players but they played r really as an orchestra should play with a real togetherness and a real joint understanding of the music being played. It made me think how terribly important it is uh, for the arts to be promoted and supported at all levels because the main reason is that people, it gives people pleasure. It, it is healthful to the spirit of, of human beings and that is terribly important and it's, 
was wonderful to see and to hear tonight 